I remember the lineup. It was 90210, end of party of five. Yes. My friend Scott Robertson <laughs> dislocated his shoulder, rolling around to the theme song. He was so happy the party <laughs> no. of five was coming on. True story. Um, do oh you, the gosh. height of it, when you look back at the 90s, like what do you remember? Who was your celeb mm -hmm. crush? Oh, well, I mean, all of them. <laughs> I was boy crazy. But Leonardo DiCaprio, especially after Titanic. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, he Jack. was my number one, right? Did you meet him? I did. My mom and I were staying in a hotel, and we rushed around the corner to grab the elevator, and a hand stops the door from closing, and he goes, hold, uh, like, I'll hold it. And we run around the corner, and he's holding the elevator, Leonardo DiCaprio. What? So wow. my 14-year-old heart just, like, couldn't take it, and I was just, like, about to hyperventilate, and we rode up the elevator in total silence, and I was just... In total silence? Yes, what? yes. And he gets off the elevator, and I burst into tears. <laughs> and I cried for like an hour. I was like, he was here. I can't believe he was here. I mean, it's so embarrassing. Like, I have no idea why I cried. I think Aww. I just was so Overcome. overwhelmed, yeah, yeah. right? Like, I just Lacey, yeah. loved not him one so much. word, how are you? Nothing. But like, I was convinced. I'm, a, I'm like, we're married now. We're getting married now. <laughs> it's it's, it's yes. fate. We were meant to meet. He held the elevator. <laughs> what do they call that? The meet cute. That was our meet cute yeah. Yeah, was, moment. Exactly. Exactly. You know, when you're a teenager, you yeah. can be a yeah. little obsessed, but. Yeah, it was a sweet moment. What about, I mean, you won the Golden Globe back in 1996. Do you remember that moment? You know what? I remember a lot about that night yeah. because I was a kid at an award show. I couldn't find a dress, so I think I wore like a tuxedo or something with Doc Martens. Oh, we've got footage. <laughs> Would you say that like it was accidental? Yes. That wasn't like a purposeful... Oh, no, it was it was purposeful. I, it was just, you know, I think we couldn't find a nice dress. So I was like, well, we'll wear a tuxedo. <laughs> cute. And I don't think anyone thought we would win. Look at and you. There you are. I remember sitting in that chair, and they called out our name, and we all just kind of burst into tears and laughter. And the producers, I truly appreciate this, were kind enough to make sure... They, we all got our own Golden Globe, and so it sits on my mantle to this day. Oh, cool. It always wow. brings back the memory every time I see it. Um, yeah. I, by the way, the tux or the suit is back. I mean, you sort of started this trend. Now everybody is rocking what you did yeah, back I'm in kind 96. Of a trend starter. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> ahead of her time, right? Way ahead of her time, right there. What about this trend right here? What is this saying? Oh, oh, that. See that? That, I, that is that is called boss lady. That is. <laughs> That is my purple pant power suit. <laughs> that is a purple pant. <laughs> you guys, oh, those that. are pants. I'm from. It's well, it's like a one-piece jumper yeah. with the ruffle. Uh -huh. You know, I'm pretty sure I put that trend out there too. You've been my rocking the one shoulder. That. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? You're right. Still doing it. Sunsetter. My see? grandmother made that. I was from the south. It was oh, the '80s. Awesome. You have and to so you went into pageants? And beauty pageants. Yeah, it's totally normal. <laughs> I love this. Would you let your daughter do that now? <laughs> I mean, I had a very you know what, I've had a very positive experience. Yeah. My parents are very protective. I think the world we live in today is quite different, different. than it was then. So I would be very thoughtful about it. But um, if, look, if it's her passion, if my parents hadn't let me pursue mine, I wouldn't be here today doing something that I, I truly love. So I don't yeah. want to stand in the way of that, but I would wait until she was old enough to You grew up, though, that. innocent times, like no social media. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I mean, thank goodness. Right? Did thank you, goodness that every I mistake like wasn't didn't, recorded on social gonna media. I was going to say, I don't think you made a lot of mistakes, though. Well, yeah. I'm human, you know. Yeah. I was a pretty good kid, but we're all human. Lacey did nothing wrong. <laughs> Let's no. be clear. I'm trying You're to think of what Lacey has done to get into trouble. <laughs> There's no partying at Party of Five. No. There was no partying no, there wasn't. and going out. No, yeah. I mean, I had a very normal life outside of the show. Well, we love where you are now. By the way, I want Scott Wolf in a home. Mark movie. However, we decided you have to play brother sister. Absolutely. That would be a little weird. weird. That would be There's no kissing weird him. and inappropriate. But I would love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's make it happen. I'm going to make that and happen. you guys. Yes. Yeah. Lacey, listen, I don't want to put the pressure on you, but we've been talking about it for years. Let's <laughs> see. I'm drinking my <laughs> hot next chocolate. Year. Next, we'll next see. movie I'm here for, it's because you're in it. Yeah. Yes. Make it happen. Boom. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I told you I want to be a shop Cheers. owner. All right. Well, Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe premieres Friday, November 23rd at 8 on the Hallmark Channel.